What's up everyone, my name is Isaac and today I'm creating a video about GitHub Pages domain hijacking, which is something super scary that recently happened to me and I was pretty surprised about the entire thing. So I thought I would create a video today explaining what it is. Then I'm going to do a demo showing the entire process of how a domain is hijacked. I'm also going to talk a bit about how you can find and revulnerable websites. And then lastly, I'm going to talk about how you can prevent this. So first off, what is GitHub Pages domain hijacking? As you probably know, you can host static websites for free using what is called GitHub Pages. So for demo purposes, I have created this very simple website here that has some text. And as you can see, the site is live on a custom domain, in my case, mullir.no for this <laughs> test site. Now, if you're not careful, this domain can actually be hijacked by someone else and they can make mullir.no point to any other website. So in my case, I was running a photo blog that was hosted on GitHub pages and the hackers ended up pointing the website to a gambling website. So fuck that. I was uh, caught off guard and had no idea how this would happen. So let's try to explain what was going on. So when you're hosting your custom website on GitHub pages and you are using a custom dom domain, you have to add what is called some DNS records, just like this. So for any website on GitHub pages, you have to host four A records right here and point them to the GitHub servers. In my case, I actually had the GitHub Pro profile for a couple of years as they are free for students. And one of the things you get from having a pro account is the possibility of having private repositories with GitHub pages. So for this repository right now, this is public, but with a pro account, you can have a private repository. Now, the problem <laughs> occurred when my account lost the pro status. What happened then was that GitHub completely silently stopped serving the website on my domain and instead showed a 404 message, just like this. Now, in this situation, any other GitHub profile out there can actually go ahead and create their own GitHub pages and add this file to their repository, the CNAME file with just my domain. And if they then enable GitHub pages on their repository, then my domain is going to show their website, which is absolutely bonkers. So that is what happened to me and I, I'm not really sure how someone had my website on what I would imagine is some sort of watch list for websites hosted on GitHub pages, but I do know that you can use something like the dig command just from your terminal and enter a domain just like mullir.no and you can see some of the DNS records. So for instance, you can see that mullir.no points to these addresses, which are the GitHub servers. So for instance, if I were to try some other website like this one, just as an example, this is a blog that my friend runs. If I go ahead and write his domain, dignity.no, you can see that this domain also points to the same GitHub servers. You can even check for any CNAME records on a domain. So let's do my domain again. And doing that, you can find out which GitHub profile it belongs to. So if I were to guess how anyone <laughs> ended up uh, grabbing my website that quickly after I lost the pro status, I can imagine you can create a scraper that finds websites hosted on GitHub pages, and then you can check whether the profile has the pro status or not. And what I would do is I would save all of the pro accounts and their domains in a note. And every day I would go back to the website and check if it shows a 404 or not. And on the day that it shows a 404, you know that you can probably go ahead and point your malicious website to their domain using the CNAME file 
right here and uh, boom that's probably how this was done i didn't really find too much explanations online on how this could be happening but that's what i think but yeah if you have any theories maybe you can leave them in the comments below and now lastly important point how to prevent this because there are actually some safety mechanisms on github that you can go ahead and use back on github you can actually go ahead and enter settings and from here you can go down to pages and you can add what is called a verified domain so i have only done this on my personal website i hadn't done this on my photo blog so what you have to do is add the domain you want to protect right here just like that and from there you can add these txt records to your dns provider so let's add a txt record just doing this straight ahead use this value just like that we can verify and uh, this was successfully verified and now github is going to make sure that only my profile can point to this domain successfully that's the best way and also the easiest way of protecting yourself now what i think is super super bad is that github does not notify you when you are about to lose your github pro status and all of your github pages websites might end up being vulnerable for this so that's my suggestion to you, GitHub. Send out an email to all of the accounts that are about to lose their pro status and remind them about this. And uh, yeah, other than that, I hope you learned something from the video. Maybe you can create your own malicious service trying to find and hijack other people's websites, or you can just protect yourself. So yeah, that's it from Isaac and see you in the next video.